Hey YouTube, Opinionative Review ahead. Just bring you guys a quick update video on uh, the GV Ultra. And no, this isn't a video telling you that the 04.11.08 baseband is unlockable. That baseband still isn't unlockable at the moment. I'm just letting you guys know that the GV Ultra tool that's in Cydia from Apple and Berry, the Furious Smart tool, it has been updated to support iOS 5 and iOS 5.0.1. So yeah, I'm just giving you guys a quick update, letting you know that because it wasn't updated. It, I think it, it was updated like two days ago. I was supposed to do this video, but I got tied up with a little bit of schoolwork and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to also demonstrate it for you guys. Now, it unlocks every baseband for the iPhone 4 except the 04.11.08. At the moment, uh, there's no update on that. Nobody knows when something is going to come out to unlock that baseband. But for right now, you guys need to stay using your custom firmwares to update to that baseband. So while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and use it because this device is on iOS 5. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. This one is on iOS. That device is on 4.3.3 and I was using the GV Ultra on that. So as you can see, it's on iOS 5 right there, 5.0.1, untethered jailbreak. And you can see my baseband right there. That's the latest baseband that can be unlocked with that device. So I'm going to go ahead and power this device off. And it's not, a, it's not as smooth as it was for iOS 4.3 or lower, but it still works. Like sometimes you might have to like reboot like twice or something like that, but... I don't, I don't make noise about it because it still works, but it was a lot smoother on iOS 4.3. Also, if you're on iOS 4.3 or lower, don't update the tool. My motto is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if, if like me, that's why I haven't updated because it's been working so good on 4.3.3. That's why I haven't updated it. So as you can see, I power off my device and this is my CCT SIM card. Uh, it's, it's roaming on AT&T, so you're going to see AT&T as the carrier for some of you bitches that always say, oh, this is fake. This is not fake. I've been doing this for freaking so long. Why would I trick people? I'm from the islands, and we roam on sea on our AT and T. So this is gonna boot up. I'm just gonna leave it boot up and let it work its magic. Hopefully, I can get it doing one try rather than having to reboot again. Because as I said, sometimes I have to do it twice with this 4.3. I don't have to do it that much. But yeah, if you're if you are if you're looking to buy the GV Ultra, buy it from AppleandBerry.com. It's only twenty bucks. It's only 20 bucks. Trust me, it's going to be legit. This one that I have in my hand, it's a freaking fake. The one that I put in this phone is legit. This is a freaking fake. It's not working. Trust me, buy it from Apple and Berry if you want to get if you want to get one that's definitely working. Get it from Apple and Berry. Don't be cheap and go and pay 5 bucks and then it's not working. Then you got to go and pay another 5 bucks. And then you got to go and pay another 5 bucks. You could have just bought it one time from Apple and Berry for 20 bucks. You feel me? So let's just go ahead and just wait for this and see if it gets signal. If not, then I'm going to have to do it again. But as I said, I've tested it several times and it has been working. But I get that no service um, up there for a good long while. I see no SIM install message there. So hopefully I get my signal and stuff. But if you're, if you want to, if you're not on iOS 5.0.1 and you want to go on iOS 5.0.1 for the untethered jailbreak, Go ahead and I'm going to have a link in the description showing you guys how to update. You see I got my voicemail right there. How to update without updating your baseband. Please do not update directly to iTunes. You have to use a custom firmware. I have a video showing you guys everything on that, but the difference with that video is you're going to have to jailbreak after. So you just you can just jailbreak with Red Snow and then go ahead and just in install the tool from CD or the Furious Mod tool. As you can see, I got signal up there, and I'm going to remove my SIM card to show you guys that, that it is my CCT SIM card from, for you bitches that always bitch, oh, this is fake, he didn't show us uh, his SIM card or some dumb shit like that, whatever. So let me just go ahead and pop out my SIM card so you guys can see that, and pay attention, AT&T, CCT, so you guys see? I don't be tricking anybody. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. All the links will be in the description. As I said, I did a video on 
then push it back in see if it's gonna work like this sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does but I did a video on how to update how to unlock iPhone 4 on 5.0 and 5.0.1 no it's not gonna work I gotta reboot you can go ahead and um and follow that video to update if you need to activate you're gonna have to jailbreak so if you activate all you have to do after you you boot tethered is go ahead and install Corona 5.0.1 on Tether from Insidia and that's gonna give you on Tether jailbreak. I'm gonna have all the links in the description. It's kinda hard like covering all of them. If you guys have been keeping track of my channel, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I have the link in the description. I have if you need to um activate, I'm gonna have if you don't need to activate, if you just want to update, if you have um and activation is for the people that do not have an ATT SIM card. If you don't have an ATT SIM card to activate the device you have to activate but it requires a jailbreak to activate and you can use a custom firmware in Snowbreeze to activate the device but that's basically it guys just wanted to let you know that the tool has been updated to support iOS 5 or iOS 5.0.1 and if you want to go ahead and update you can go ahead and update but make sure you use a custom firmware I'm going to try and do a video on how to create a custom firmware it's pretty simple and straightforward you could do it pony to red snow or even um snow breeze but yeah that's basically it do not update directly through iTunes. I can't stress that enough, guys. Please do not update because your baseband is going to get updated to 04.11.08 and you're not going to be able to unlock your device. But that's basically it, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Uh, I'm going to try and do a video after this um, telling you guys which GV Sim is my favorite and which one I like the best. And currently, the GV Ultra is my favorite. But yeah, with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.